In this video, I'm going to review the pros and cons of using a de-Googled smartphone as opposed to your off-the-shelf iPhone or Android device, and then you can decide if it's right for you. This will include both custom hardware with the de-Googled operating system that comes with it, as well as your off-the-shelf devices flashed with a de-Googled operating system, which is typically the Pixel devices. One thing is very clear, data such as your location, your IP address, your device type, even the operating system of your iPhone or Android phone is being tracked by the mobile operator. Apps on your phone, your standard browsers, both Apple and Google, and every time you use your device to go to a website, that website itself can collect all of these details as well. And if they're not a security or privacy company, then they could be selling that data as well. Apple and Google are especially big data collectors, and one of the reasons they can do this is that the operating systems themselves are designed to force you to identify information in order to use their service, whether that's a Gmail ID, iCloud, your mobile number, and even if all of those are created with anonymity in mind, like having a fake email or somebody else's name in your email, they can still link you in many other ways. The tracking is so abundant that Android and Apple can track you by Wi-Fi connections that you, when you're walking down the street and you connect to, let's say, a Starbucks Wi-Fi, for example, uh, and even as you pass by um, even Apple Air, Air Tags, uh, Apple can do the same thing with both Wi-Fi and the Apple Air Tags. Now, there are a few ways to combat this data collection, including specific browsers like the Brave browser with Tor, secure cell phone hardware, secure mobile services. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the de-Googled operating system that comes with some of the custom hardware phones, as well as the de-Googled OS, where you can, say, have your own Pixel phone and then flash it with a de-Googled operating system. De-Googled phones have been around now for about two or three years. And most of the phone manufacturers that came out with these type of phones like two or three years ago, they are out of business. People were just not aware of all the hacking and tracking that goes on. So this is they're, they're not a new niche. They uh, were a niche that failed and now it's coming back. So it is now a growing niche and people are becoming more aware of the tracking and hacking. And there's a lot of victims out there that are using iPhones and Androids that are now switching to these de Google phones. Some people are using them as their primary phone and others like myself are using them as a secondary phone or a tertiary phone where you use it for all of your proprietary communications or strictly for work, uh, but to keep it as private as possible. The main benefit of a custom Android is that it allows developers to exclude location tracking, profiling your advertising ID, grabbing your phone number, your IMEA ID, the device ID, and what this means is that Google cannot grab your info and attribute it to you. They can't attribute data to your Google ID or your advertising ID because Google's hidden system apps are no longer there. And this means as you use this device, even if you were to go to a website that collects your data, again, when they collect your data, they cannot attribute that data specifically to you. Now, if you're going to buy and use a Google smartphone, you need to go all the way and make sure you don't link it in any way to you or you won't achieve much security or privacy for very long. One option is to use your de-Googled phone exclusively on Wi-Fi. And since your Google ID is not required for this phone and you don't have a mobile number associated with it, then it won't be associated with your personal information. As long as you don't volunteer information, then you will be about as anonymous as you can be. If you want to use a de-Google device with cellular, then you're going to want to use a mobile service where your personal information is not in a carrier account, where they will sell your data to advertisers, affiliates, bounty hunters, hackers, and more. And you also want to make sure that phone store employees or carrier employees cannot look up your information internally and therefore sell that to hackers or friends, for example. If a carrier operating system or application sells your data, you can be assured that web crawlers are gonna link your information and load it up with data brokers who are gonna sell your information globally right in front of our faces. They do it today, they do it all day long. If you've ever Googled your own name, for example, you're gonna come up with a lot of information about yourself. I'm going to make a recommendation on a mobile service at the end of this video that removes your information from the carrier 
adds SIM swap security and blocks out access from the carrier employees, third parties, and does not sell your data. So watch to the end of the video and you can learn more about that. Another thing you can check if you are a U.S. resident and want to see what's attached to your current mobile number, then check out the phone scan tool from Afani at app.afani.com forward slash phone, where you enter your phone number in. There's an SMS verification to make sure it's you. And you're probably going to be shocked at what data has been linked over the last decade to your mobile number. So there's been people that have done data deletion services on their name, their email ID, that kind of forget that they've been using this mobile number now for a decade or longer. And you can imagine all the things that are linked to it, including information on family, your sister, your brother, your, your kids, your parents, um, your past addresses, where you went to school, all of that. Now, keep in mind that if you're using a Deagle device, but you're volunteering your information to register on websites, using it for doctor's appointment notifications, 2FA, et cetera, it's likely that information will get hit by a data scraping web crawler, and then you will have to pay a data deletion service forever. So you can't simply go to a data deletion service and say, hey, can you delete all of my data for my attached to my name and my mobile number uh, because it'll take them 30 days to delete it. And then within 90 days, these web crawlers are just scouring the internet and filling that information back up. So you have to get an annual, really a, a forever type data deletion service if you want to make that part of your own strategy of keeping your data secure. Before I review the benefits of using one of these Deagle devices, let's cover the negatives and make sure you understand that there are things you're giving up. There are cons to using one of these highly secure and private phones. Number one, unless you're going 100% off the grid, chances are you need a mobile number for voice and SMS for your job, bank, brokerage, email. So Deagle phones are usually seen as a second device for proprietary usage, which makes your mobile budget expensive. Two, in order to protect you from making mistakes, de-Googled phones limit the apps you are allowed to download and use. This is to protect you, but you're limited to apps such as the Brave Browser, Signal, Telegram, basic email app, even YouTube is not allowed. You can, there is a method, there is another app you can use to access YouTube that keeps you secure from YouTube collecting your data but you do not have a YouTube app that's allowed on most of these custom Android operating systems. The Aurora App Store is a popular app store for these de-Googled phones. So you can check the store out yourself and see if there are the apps you need in order to survive and make this phone uh, usable for you. Number three, a de-Googled phone is not gonna stop your device from being tracked. It will stop the data being collected from being attributed to you. So data will still be collected. If you use this device to go to a website, for example, they can still see that it is an Android operating system. They might be able to see what the uh, operating system version is, but they are not gonna be able to attribute that specifically to you. Number four, if you wanna use email on your d Google phone, you'll need to create a new email, whether that is a Gmail or I recommend ProtonMail. Uh, that is not linked to your other emails or other phone numbers that you have that are linked to your name. And then avoid trading emails and calling yourself with that Deagle phone. So once you make those kind of connections over a long enough period of time, that information of this Deagle phone may get attributed to you. Number five, you need to be really careful and make sure you use a VPN when using your home Wi-Fi because they will be able to associate your mobile device with the IP address of your Wi-Fi, which is most likely registered in your name with your internet service provider because somebody has to pay the bill, most likely you. So it's probably very rare, but it is possible that they could become linked and therefore the information about your what you believe to be a secure device could end up becoming attributed to you in your name because of the wi-fi network that you use which is also in your name number six and the last item on my list and i can't say for sure this is happening but if you give out a private mobile number to friends and family and they load your full name into their contacts info then technically there's an opportunity for leakage that you have no control over because if their call records, their SMS records, their contact information gets leaked somehow, then obviously that could then attribute that mobile number and 
your information to that device. With all that said, since I'm in the secure mobile business, I have several phones and one of those being a Pixel flashed with the Copperhead OS Lite version. And it does everything I need to communicate for business and personal needs. I just can't use the fun apps like Instagram, Facebook, and I advise that everybody stop using TikTok. Just be aware that even if you have, even if you don't use TikTok, but you have a family member, a son or daughter that are using TikTok, that that TikTok is, is probably grabbing information from all the devices that have been in the household at one time or another. And so the, the terms of service for TikTok basically state they have the right to grab these files, even if those files and information is not on the device using TikTok. And that's right in their terms of service. I did a video on TikTok, which you can find on our YouTube channel, and I'll post the link down below in the, uh, in the description if you want to check that out. Okay, so now that we have covered the cons of a Deagle device, let's go over the benefits. And let's assume that you have purchased a new Deagle device or you did a factory reset on a Pixel phone and flashed it with one of these uh, custom Android operating systems. You then purchased a mobile service, which uh, is from a company that does not keep your personal information or sell your data. You're using a VPN to mask your home Wi-Fi usage. You created a new email ID that is not linked to your other email IDs in any way and your phone is set and ready to use. The benefits of using a de-Googled phone include the following. The device is now invisible to Google. Number two, Google cannot collect data since the data collecting system apps don't exist, or I should say that Google cannot collect data from the operating system on your device at least. Number three, any data that can be collected about your device will not be attributed to you. Number four, any browser usage, data usage will be unknown to Google. They will still be able to track it, but not attribute it to you. You'll just look like an anonymous user. Number five, using your VPN at home, you can still remain anonymous by masking your Wi-Fi IP. And number six, with this kind of setup, you can even use Twitter, for example, via a browser. And if you're one of those people who use a fake name, a pseudonym, you can actually remain anonymous. Otherwise, your real identity for fake social media accounts can easily be found by an expert. Also, be aware there's a hacker claiming to have 400 million Twitter accounts with key data for sale at this very moment, which would dox every pseudonym on that list. So assuming you had a custom Android secure operating system, and you did all of the things that I talked about earlier to keep yourself safe. Even if you had a pseudonym and you were on this 400 million Twitter account list, you would still remain anonymous because it would not have information attributed to your real name, your real contact information. Now, when I say keeping your data from Google, what I really mean is that you're not just keeping your data from Google and web crawlers, but you're keeping your data from being sold to anyone on the planet that is willing to pay data brokers for it. This includes marketing companies, affiliates, governments, hackers, bounty hunters, anyone that even stalkers, for example, anyone that would have uh, or see value in getting your information, whether that's you as a target or you as part of some 10,000, 100,000, 100 million type uh, list that they want to pay for. Now, let's say you have been using your Google device for months with cellular. And you may be happy with your security, but you're not completely secure. You can have the most expensive and secure device on the planet, the best VPN, the best antivirus. But if your SIM swap, then your device is removed from the equation and your mobile service is now pointing to a device in the hands of a hacker who will then use password resets to daisy chain through your applications. If you want to be protected from SIM swaps, then I recommend the secure safe plan from Afani, where you get to choose from a top mobile operator in the U.S., your information is not loaded with the carrier, and even if it was loaded with the carrier prior, when you when you move your existing mobile number over through Afani, Afani removes that data from the carrier's database. All carrier employees, stores, call centers, third-party stores are locked out of your account, and even the mobile carrier store cannot even service you any longer or get information about you on your account. You could walk in there physically, ask them about your mobile number, anything about your account, and they can't help you. Afani becomes your 7x24 support with 11 layers of verification for SIM security, 
And Afani backs it up with a $5 million insurance plan. You can learn more about the safe plan at www.afani.com. Now, if you're a big enough target or you're in the middle of an event surrounded by lots of targets, like at a financial convention or crypto convention, then you're also open to cell tower spoofers known as MZ catchers or stingrays and many other names. And these are used to collect things like your AMIA ID, the device ID, the MZ number, the carrier, phone model, and more. And if any of this data is tied to your data with the carrier, then they can easily tie this data to you, which is another benefit of not having your personal information sitting in a carrier account. To defend against these network level type attacks, Afani has just launched their Black Seal Uber data service, which detects network level attacks, protects you, and also notifies you when someone turns on a fake cell tower, for example, or tries to remotely find your location. This service is still in beta until the end of January, possibly into February, but it can be purchased today. For more information on Black Seal, go to www.afani.com forward slash Black Seal, B-L-A-C-K-S-E-A-L, one word and I'll put this link also in the description. In addition to Safe and Black Seal, Afani is also launching a secure VoIP solution for worldwide encrypted voice and messaging. You'll be able to use VoIP with the Safe plan or use VoIP with the data-only Black Seal plan or combine Safe plus Black Seal plus VoIP for a secure VIP level type of security. This VIP level security is going to include two mobile numbers, your cellular number and a VoIP number. The VoIP line is also a global number with the ability to use voice to call or receive calls to mobile numbers and landlines to and from anywhere as long as you have a data connection. A funny help secure your iPhone or Android device and when packaged with a secure operating system, you're even more secure. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you want to get updates on new mobile security threats, news, or product updates. And thank you for listening.